Hi, in this video, I'm going to be going over the Windows 10 Update Assistant. And what this does, it's a manual way to update your computer. So if you're ever having some problems or you want to you know, get ahead of the game and do some updates yourself, you could use this tool. Now, for my case, I have my this Windows 10 computer here, and it wants to do this version 2004 update. And every time I restart, it's not updating it. Then it comes back and says it needs to do it again and again, and it never installs. So when you have this type of problem, you could try out the Windows Update tool and see if it'll work for you. So to do that, first we have to go and download it. And you could do a search for the Windows 10 Update tool. And it'll take you to this page. And on this page, you'll see there's the Update tool in the Windows 10 Installation Media tool. And what this will do is it'll, it'll allow you to uh, download Windows 10 and make a bootable flash drive or you know, ISO file or bootable DVD to install Windows. So if you lost your installation media or you never had it with your computer, you could get yourself a copy of Windows 10. It's not going to give you a license for Windows 10, so you can't just download it and expect to get free copies of Windows, but you could use it to install it and troubleshoot and that kind of thing. So for now, I'm going to click on this update now to download the um, tool, update assistant tool. I'm going to run it here. Say yes to this. Okay, so now it says Do you want to update to the latest version of Windows 10. And blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click on update now. It does a little check to make sure you have you know, enough disk space and your hardware is compatible or I should say uh, sufficient to run it, which you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, so now it's downloading it. And this might take a minute, so we'll just pause and wait for it. Okay, so now that it's downloaded and verified the update file, it's going to uh, do the update. And this might take some time too, so we'll pause once again. Okay, so now that the update is done, it's going to want to restart. Now, the amount of time these updates will take will depend on what type of updates there are. This was a rather big one, so it'll, it took you know quite some time to do. And while this is going, you could always still work on your computer and do that kind of thing. But I always like to... Just let them run and walk away so I don't risk messing anything up. So I'm going to restart the computer and see what happened. Okay, so the update completed and I had to reboot, or actually it rebooted for me about three times and it took a little while to finish the update because it was a big one. So now when I go back to my settings, I could go to my system here and then about. And I could see that this isn't installed on today and it tells you the build number and so on. And if I go back to my updates, I can see that I don't have those updates listed anymore. So it was successful. So like I said, sometimes you have to use this tool to force an update. Otherwise, I would just you know, normally say stick with the regular Windows updates and let it do it by itself. So I'll put a link to this update assistant tool in the description. And so if you need to use it, you can just download it and run it and get things up to date. All right. Thanks for watching.